Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad and today I'm gonna give you 6 new details from the first 5 episodes of WandaVision. Now I'll have you know that these are mostly continuity details, so that we can appreciate the characters and what Marvel is doing with WandaVision a little bit more. So without any further ado, let's begin. Number 1. In episode 5, we see Agent Jimmy grabbing 3 medium coffees for Monica, Darcy and himself. And he was so happy while getting it. So why am I counting this as a detail? Because in episode 4, Darcy kept asking for a coffee multiple times, but nobody cared enough to get her one. Is there somewhere a lady could get a cup of coffee? Make your assessment please. Maybe I could get that coffee now? Or not? That's cool. So as a result in the next episode, Agent Wu happily gets coffee for all three of them. And if you notice, he actually hands the coffee to Darcy, but doesn't do the same for Captain Monica, implying that it was probably because of Darcy they got coffee in the first place. So with such a simple scene, Marvel is establishing just how good of a human being Agent Wu is. Number 2. Director Hayward sends an armed drone inside Westview without letting Monica know about this. But upon my rewatch, I just noticed that this drone was manufactured by Stark Industries. When it was on air, we couldn't really see the Stark logo. But as soon as Wanda throws it on the ground, for a very brief moment, we can actually spot the Stark Industries logo. So Sword wasn't only doing research on Vision's corpse, but they're also using Stark Industries weapons. Which leads me to my question, what was Sword doing with Vision's corpse anyway? Not to mention he has been dead for 5 years. Were they trying to recreate him for their own good? Is that what triggered Wanda into doing whatever she's doing now? I guess we got a way to find the answer. Number 3. Now this detail will make you appreciate the director of the show Matt Shackman probably more than before. Notice when Monica borrows the gun from Agent Wu and starts shooting, Agent Wu only gets a little surprised not knowing what she's gonna do with it. But Darcy on the other hand literally gets scared because she isn't used to all this violence. So this subtle continuity of making sure that everything looks authentic definitely deserves an applause. Imagine if the director was lazy or just didn't pay attention. What if the character of Agent Wu also got scared here like Darcy? Wouldn't we find that odd that an FBI officer is getting terrified of someone using a gun? So the director made sure it didn't happen. Credits also go to the actors as well, who know what they're doing, who know the capabilities of the characters that they're playing. In fact, this is very common when you have good directors and writers working on your project. Just know this, it's really difficult to judge a good director, because all the things that he will do correctly, we wouldn't even notice it. I mean, that's the point. It's like editing, when it's good, you don't even notice it. Number 4. At this point, if you watched episode 5, you know about the Lagos commercial, which is basically based on Wanda's memory, her trauma from the mess she made in Lagos. Now a subscriber on my channel by the name Spider-Man Canada on Instagram has pointed out another potential detail from this scene. Notice the commercial also says husbands can use the Lagos pepper towel as well. Husbands can use it too, you know. Lagos. For when you make a mess, you didn't mean to. So maybe this indicates the mess that Vision made in Civil War by accidentally blasting War Machine with his laser and paralyzing him. I kinda overlooked this potential detail in my previous breakdown, so thanks to Spider-Man Canada for pointing out this detail. Number 5. In episode 5, Vision makes a point of how there are no children in Westview. Wonder why are there no other children in Westview? The playground stands empty every morning I walk to work. Why? We all noticed it too, but this time Vision points it out himself. And we've seen in the trailers that in the Halloween episode there's gonna be children in Westview. I'm guessing as soon as Vision called it out, whoever the architect of this reality is has put a few children in to not arouse any suspicion. But where have these new children come from is a totally different question that I'd rather answer after watching episode 6. Number 6. In episode 3, when Wanda brings up her brother Pietro for the first time, she says, I had a brother. His name was Pietro. It's all in the past tense. I had a brother. His name was Pietro. Here she seems to acknowledge the fact that Pietro is actually dead. But in episode 5, when asked about her brother, she says she does have a brother, that he is far away from here. So now she's talking about him in the present, as though he's still alive. I think the subtle change in how she talks about him is a great way to show how her denial keeps growing and how she's losing control. And that's it. I managed to find this awesome hidden meanings that I thought you lads needed to know. So now that you know, let me know what you think and tell me what else have I missed. Please grab the subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Till then I'll see you lads in the next one.